Hi everyone, these are second generation back cross guppies being bred with each other. This is the first time that I'm breeding these golden scale line of crossbred guppies together as opposed to back crossing it to one of the original parent strains. Although these females look like sunset microwaves, if you look at the trailing edge of their caudal fins, you'll see that it is clear. It isn't red like the sunset microwave females. I have good reason to suspect that these are the females that inherited the blue gene just like their brothers here. In a way, this is like a test cross. It will allow us to discover what happens when genes are doubled up in the offspring. In other words, genes that are inherited from both the father and the mother. Since the original cross between the two purebred strains over a year ago, I've taken this project through another two generations of back crossing. These resultant breeders are now 7 8 Sunset Microwave and 1 8 Neon Blue. I put the five breeders into this tub for mating. After the females are pregnant, I bring them over to my friend's house because they have more space to set up birthing tubs and tubs for the fry. Several months have passed and the fry are now two months old. Since we weren't going to use these females for breeding, we did what was easy and raised all the fry together. Most of the offspring are golden scaled, and with the males that are either red or blue, and the females that closely resemble sunset microwaves, this looks strikingly similar to a brood from the back cross generations. There's also a portion of males and females that appear to be the result of genes doubling up. Their scales are silver instead of gold, and their tails are such a dark blue it appears almost black. Getting back to the golden scaled fish, here are the females. Some of them have caudal fins that are edged in red, while the others, the edge is clear, like their mothers. And here's the blue males. They have the microwave's yellow sides, and a few traits from the neon blue, such as blue color in their caudal and dorsal fins, iridescence on their backs, and colored pectoral fins. Finally, here's the red males. They look like sunset microwaves, but their red is more intense and they have iridescence on their backs. I hope you enjoyed seeing the outcome of this generation. Thank you for watching.